Okay, so now that you have a badge, you may be wondering what can I do with that badge? And we're going to look at a couple different scenarios in a few videos. The first one that I think you might be interested in is putting your badge on your resume because this can really help your resume to stand out as having achieved a badge in a certain skill. So I've just pulled up a fake resume template here so that you can see how we can insert a badge into our resume. And there's a couple ways to do this, but before we do it, we're going to need to gather some stuff from the badge website so that we can insert it. So let me just jump over to the website here. When you are on the badge that you have earned, you have a couple of options for what you can do. The first one is you can click share up here. And when you get this share, then you can copy the link to share your badge. So we're just going to copy that now by clicking copy. There's a couple other things you can do here as far as like social and HTML. We'll look at those in other videos when we talk about different ways to share it. But for now, we just want the link. So just make sure you have that link copied to the badge that you want to put on your resume. The other thing that you might want, if you are okay with having images on your resume, and depending on what you're applying for, you may or may not be okay with images. But if you are going to use the image, you want to make sure that you have it downloaded. So if you come to the three dot menu up here, you can click download, and then you will get your badge. You can also get that badge from the email that you were sent from Badger when you first earned the badge. Okay, let's go back to the fake resume. We can choose where we want to put our badge. So we could do this either in the skills area or in the awards and acknowledgements area of this particular resume. You may set up your resume differently, so make sure that you put it in a place that makes sense. So I'm going to do it in awards and acknowledgements, so I'm just going to make sure that I have some extra space here. And I'm going to first do it with the image, and then I'll do it with text. So let me go grab the image from my downloads. Just go ahead and drag it in here. And you can see the image is populated here. Now remember, one of the really important things about badges is that it links back to evidence so that the person can see what you've done. So in this case, I'm going to say, well, I got a meme badge and they would want to see the meme that I made. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to shrink this down because obviously we don't want it to take up our whole space here. And I want to give the badge a title. And so I'm just going to put meme badge from BYU library software training so that they know what it is and then on the badge itself I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to choose hyperlink we want this badge to link so then I'm just going to paste command V the badge link into here and then I'm going to click OK and now there is a link here and you can see when I scroll over it it becomes a hyperlinked image so you want to make sure though that you are going to export this resume into a format that supports links and the best way to export your resume is of course as a PDF now if we weren't going to do that if we were just going to list it with this text here the other way to do that is make sure that we have the link copied and then we'll list our text but we wouldn't have the image at all so let me go ahead and just delete this image and we would just highlight our text right click on it and choose hyperlink so we're just going to link this and put in the link there. So that would be appropriate if you didn't want the image. Now the image makes it stand out a little bit more. It looks a little bit more like you earned something specific when you have the image, but it will really depend on where you are putting your resume. Where's it going to go to? Because if it's going to run through some kind of like auto screener, those don't like images. So you want to leave images off of resumes that might be going to large companies that are using auto screeners. And so that's two ways, one using text and one using images that you can put it on your resume. Now, if you are concerned about having links on your resume at all, you could, of course, just put the text on your resume of what you've got, but then you kind of lose the value of the badge because they can't click through on it and actually see the work that you did. So you just kind of have to choose based on where your resume is going, how you think the best way to put it on there is. And that's how you can use your badge on a resume.